There are 39 trillion bacteria living in and on your body at any given point in time. 38 trillion of these microorganisms live specifically in your gut. It is not surprising that your health is a direct reflection of how well you're feeding these bugs. So in this video, I'm going to go over a few causes of dysbiosis or leaky gut and how to fix the issue as quickly as possible. So I'm Carly, for anybody who hasn't seen my videos, I'm a plant-based nutritionist and I typically come out with videos once or twice a week, just on general plant-based nutrition information. So if you enjoy these kinds of videos, please subscribe. Let's start with the causes of dysbiosis. So these are things like harmful substances. So if you're injuring your microbiota, it's usually from things such as uh, animal foods, dairy and other allergens, sugar, chlorinated water, alcohol, obviously antibiotics, NSAIDs, and just environmental pollutants in general. And then we have stress and trauma that can damage your uh, microbiota. And the last one is lack of prebiotics. So again, this is the, what you're feeding them. So what you're taking into your body is a direct reflection of your gut health. So how to go about fixing dysbiosis? So first of all, you want to remove the harmful substances, obviously. So take out any of those items that I mentioned that might be damaging your um, healthy gut bugs in the first place, the alcohol, the antibiotics, the animal products, the dairy, and the uh, high sugary foods, processed foods in general can cause severe dysbiosis and leaky gut. And then you're gonna want to replenish the good bugs with um, high fibrous foods. So things like whole grains and legumes. Those are um, the top most fibrous foods you can, food categories you can implement into this dietary change. And then you'll have your fruits and veggies, nuts and seeds. So you're gonna wanna focus not only on these specific categories of foods and getting as much of them into your diet as possible, but you also want to implement a diet that's as diverse as possible in these different plant foods because each plant has a very unique and specific fibrous profile. What we used to think was maybe two types of fiber in existence, you know, like the insoluble and the soluble. Yes, there are those categories of fiber, but they've come to find that there's thousands, if not millions and billions of different um, types of fiber. I thought that was super interesting. So after you replenish your diet with these um, helpful foods, you can focus on stress management and try to narrow in on anything that is causing you to feel that flight or fight response that might not be motivated properly. So if you're easily upset in um, traffic jams, for instance, or your kids are just driving you nuts and you can't calm yourself, try to find different ways to manage these stressors accordingly. And maybe just think about changing the way you respond to them or the way that you perceive them. It, sometimes it can be that simple. You can just, you know, not be so reactive to things. So I hope this was helpful. Obviously your diet is going to be a huge component in this. Right now, if you're living a typical westernized lifestyle, you're probably getting about 10% of your calories from plant foods. And these are typically things like potatoes, corn, and soy. Highly, highly, highly refined potatoes, corn, and soy. That is not a high diversity. You should be getting at least 30 different types of plant foods in your diet each given week. That might sound like a high number, but it's really not that complicated. Because if you think about beans, there's what, at least 100 different kinds of beans there's all different sorts of greens and veggies and different fruits you can snack on. Um, the grain family is expanding, but 
I think the spices and the seasonings are a great area to kind of expand the antioxidant profile and the phytochemicals that you're taking in on a given day. It's really easy to get 30 different uh, species of plants into your diet in a given week, if not a given day. So again, I hope this video was helpful and I do have a series on this information on um, healing leaky gut and the microbiome in general. So be sure to check those out. I'll link them below and I will see you next time.